Uh, I'm Frank, and uh, I'm the lead developer on FontForge. Uh, for the five or six of you who uh, haven't come up to me with in-person bug reports and feature requests, FontForge is a piece of software for designing typefaces. Um, so, uh, let's see. About, I don't know, a little while back, I ran into a fellow who said he was a typeface designer. They all look like this. And um, he, uh, so of course I had to ask him, did he know about FontForge? Um, and he said, oh yeah, I know all about FontForge. That's why I use glyphs. Um, clearly, <laughs> he doesn't know all there is to know about FontForge. Um, and so I just want to, to go through really quick and uh, you know, explain what's going on. Um, there were indeed some rather dark times after George Williams disappeared in 2012 before the, the, the Frankish conquest. Um, but we've been working very hard for the last few years to fix all the things that were broken and to uh, add the necessary features that weren't getting added. And we've made a lot of progress, um, such that uh, I would say that today FontForge is about as modern, stable, and powerful as a typeface editor can be. Um, and I even have an anecdote to back it up. Bethum, are you here? Okay, well, even better. I oh, there you are. Okay, I was going to exaggerate the anecdote, but since you're here, I'll tone it down. Anyway, um, so he, uh, uh, Pathum back home, works with about six or seven other people who design uh, typefaces. And uh, he's a loyal user of FontForge. Others aren't. And, you know, every day, somebody will inevitably lose his uh, work when his editor crashes. Um, but that editor is never FontForge. And he reports that he's been successfully using FontForge on a daily basis for about a year without a single crash, which is a little unusual. But, um, <laughs> uh, but on the whole, for people doing normal typography work, FontForge is very, very stable these days. And we've made a lot of progress and we'll continue to make more. Um, so on the feature front, uh, or I guess on the, you know, a lot of people say it's outdated. And uh, oops, what just happened? Uh, oh, that's a screenshot, I think. What is going on? Is that? Okay, well, we'll do it like this. So I'm not going to say that this interface looks modern or anything, uh, any more than my laptop does, but uh, it, that's not what matters for Typeface Editor. What matters is that it has good drawing tools, which, which FontForge has always had, that it supports modern typography features, FontForge supports all open type features, and that it supports the latest file formats. And FontForge has the most advanced UFO version 3 support of any typeface editor out there. Um, so, uh, where was I going with this? Maybe the next slide. Oh yeah. So, FontForge does have one limitation, and that's for the developers. It's, it's a perfect use case for object-oriented programming in C++, and it's written in C. 600,000 lines of C. And um, this makes it very difficult to fix, to maintain, and uh, most importantly, to extend and to upgrade for, for new functions. Um, and this is why uh, uh, Adrian, who's a uh, longtime, uh, very uh, what the word is, productive FontForge contributor, has uh, started TrueFont to try to learn the lessons of FontForge's uh, early development history and build something with the same features, but in an appropriate language and uh, in, with a more extensible and sane base model. Um, so, uh, that's not done yet, though, and until it is, we're going to keep FontForge going. Uh, for those of you who were at LGM 2015 in Toronto, you may have remembered Dave's talk, Goodbye FontForge. I believed then, as I do now, that the, the talk was a little premature, uh, particularly the title. And, um, uh, and, and just to show you, you know, how active this still is, I got an email just a few weeks ago from a fellow who does type design workshops, and he was saying, you know, uh, I really need a few new features implemented, and uh, I need the Macintosh uh, installer updated um, to support all these workshops I'm going to be doing this year. The fellow's name was Dave Crossland. So, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I think that just goes to illustrate that, uh, you know, there's still very much a need for an open source uh, type, uh, typeface editing suite that is powerful and stable, and FontForge continues to deliver that, and it will until the replacements are ready. So um, if you haven't done so already or haven't done so recently, I'd suggest that you go to the FontForge website, fontforge.github.io, look at the website, um, download it, try it out, uh, and we, we did a new release about two weeks ago. We already have almost 10,000 downloads. I'd love to see that at 10,000 before I uh, leave town in a few days. Um, that's about all. Do I have time for questions? Or? One question. Does anybody have a question? A single question? Oh, oh anyone? Okay. 
Not a bug report. Um, not a question. I'd actually, I just wanted to say thank you very much <laughs> because I use FontForge. Oh, okay. 